Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Marco on RC Nerd 74. Today's episode is about some speed runs I do with my fun cup um, using the Sky RC GPS to figure out how fast or how slow a fun cup really is. That's a bit of a strange idea, but a lot of videos out there show the fastest planes, the fastest boats, the fastest whatever. Everyone tries to be the fastest, but no one really knows how fast or how slow a slow plane is. So uh, I decided to do this video testing my fun cup, the highest speed, regular cruising speed, doing some aerobatics and also try to fly as low as possible and check the peak speed using the flaperons which can slow down the fun cup pretty much. Before we jump into the flight footage I just want to go through some specs of my fun cup because it's not a stock fun cup but it's also not really tuned or modified to be as fast as possible. The target was to make this fun cup as light as possible, as agile as possible, to get uh, maximum flight characteristics for dynamic aerobatics, but also 3D aerobatics. So as a motor, I use the Axi 28-2012, which runs on 3S. It has a 990 kV, so nothing really high RPM, just a regular motor you use in bush planes or similar planes. As a prop, I use the XOR 13 by 7 prop, which is a great prop. I love it. It's well balanced. It's really efficient and it's also very lightweight in comparison to the regular APC plastic props. As an ESC I use the Hobbywing 40 amp fly fun which works awesome with this motor. Not a too big ESC but it handles the power which the motor needs absolutely perfect. For batteries I always use 3S 2200 uh, milliamp hour batteries they are pretty lightweight and they fit the fun cup perfect and you have a flight time around six minutes or even higher up to eight minutes if you don't uh, hang on the throttle too much. Servos for ailerons and elevator and rudder are all the same. These are all high tech SH65HB which are great ball bearing servos with carbonite gears. So they are pretty strong. They are analog servo, no digital servos, but I really like how they work. They are pretty precise for an analog servo and they are very trusty. The RC receiver I use is the Futaba R2008SB. It's a SFHSS receiver. And that is also a perfect receiver for this plane you have even some channels left to do some special functions but I set up the fun cup just with motor, ailerons, elevator and rudder and mix the flaperons to the ailerons and that's all the function I have on the fun cup. The most obvious modification is the wing on my fun cup. The wing is no more v-shape it's an absolutely 100% flat wing and I reduced the wingspan around 20 centimeters, so I have 119 centimeter wingspan instead of the stock wingspan of 140 centimeters. Then I also did some carbon reinforcement in the wing and the fuselage on the elevator and other mods to reduce the weight of the fan cap. So the current weight of the fun cup using my lightest 3S 2200 milliamp hour battery is around 995 grams, which is really super light weight for the fun cup and it has incredible power also in vertical climbs and all that stuff. It's really fun to fly the thing. For more information about all the modifications I did, just check the video links below in the video description and I will also link some videos at the end of this video. So enough talking now, let's jump into the raw flight footage of these GPS test flights 
At the end of the video, there is also a short fun flight, some little aerobatics I did, just to enjoy the fun cup. So thanks for watching, have a good time, happy flying, bye bye.